everybody today we are going to be making some beautiful bath salts I'm also going to be using my new essential oils from New Directions so let's get going and let's make some amazing and absolutely beautiful bath salts now let's make some beautiful bath salts everyone so besides me here I have my scale and I have a beautiful bowl already on the scale now I'm going to use some lovely Epsom salts these are the salts that are definitely going to relax you in the bath so I know that you're going to want them so what we need to put in here is I want roughly a kilo of these to go into here just to make you know my product really really gorgeous so I'm just going to literally pour it straight into here. The scale is already torn out. And um, this is a huge bucket that I got from New Directions. Uh, so like I said, we're going to do a kilo at a go. This is a small batch. Honestly, if you were making a, a large production, I'd say make just five kilos or something. But um, I guess it depends on how much you're going to um, sell as well now if you go a little bit over it's not the end of the world and you will notice sometimes with Epsom salts they clump like this even though this is a brand new container and it is sealed so you can just break them up with your hands just sort of get your hands and break them up like that but we will do that in a minute I'll show you that we're just going to put all the salts in first now one thing I learned the hard way is when you get the containers you need to really push the lid on tight otherwise air can get into them even though you may think your house is dry uh, sometimes air gets into them so that's what you're going to do so I'll put this back and then we'll be on to the next so now we've done that let's tear out the scale so now I have some gorgeous Himalayan salt now this is a very fine grade uh, so in here I want to add a hundred grams of this beautiful Himalayan salt so let's just add 100 in here and you know look you can change the amounts of salt that I'm putting in here if you want to um, it's up to you now I got this from my local shop it's just a sea salt it's just a, a bit of a um, you know sort of like an extra thick sort of one just this is more honestly for the look than anything else so I just want 50 grams of this one here you can buy um, some of this if you like you can buy it from lots of different places um, obviously I won't be buying to do these in bulk but this was just for this video today so we've added these gorgeous salt in so that's just a sea salt it's just you know a white sea salt and then I also got this from my local shop and I have bought this before it's very good this is Himalayan in chunky and the only reason we want it in chunky once again we want the look because I'm going to try and keep this as natural as I can I'm not going to be adding colors in things like that so I just want to add 50 grams of this in here so like I said honestly it's just for the look and you could add extra things and we're going to add a little bit of florals in in a moment so literally that's what our salt looks like for now so literally we have done this so what we want to do now um, is we're going to set this aside and then we're going to just work on our fragrance um, and I'll show you what we want to actually do with our fragrance so with the fragrance that we're going to add I'm not adding a fragrance I'm actually adding an essential oil in here just to keep it beautiful and natural and just smelling absolutely gorgeous to help with those tired old muscles so that's what we're doing in this so in here we literally want to add our botanicals if you want to add botanicals and things like that but there is another product that is super duper amazing it is called nature zorb now this particular product is going to help it stop clumping together so so much now I've seen people use the nature sorb and add the fragrance into it or essential oils or I've seen them add it straight into the salts I'm going to add it into the salts and the reason I'm going to do that is because we're using an essential oil we're only using 10 grams we're using a very very small amount of essential oils essential oils you only use one percent or less sometimes you can add more but it really depends on the oil so you do need to look into um, that particular oil so it's quite simple isn't it really I mean this is literally what we are going to be um, doing so like I said from now I'm going to get the nature salt we're going to add that in and I'm going to add the fragrance in we'll mix this up now if you've never bought nature's orb before if you can hear this noise 
can you hear that noise it sounds like starch so this stuff is like a starchy kind of feel and for every 500 grams we want to add one tablespoon so I've got my trusty tablespoon here um, it's very very light everybody it's really light so we're just going to add two heaped tablespoons just to help my mix along it's it's fairly cheap it's not that expensive and then I am going to actually before I do that I better seal it up better I so I'm keeping it in this bag also inside a container because you really want airtight containers I really learned this the hard way I had containers and I didn't push the lids on and moisture got into some of them and um, you know you got to throw them out everyone if that happens throw them out um, even though I'm making a bit of a mess of this thing that I'm try, trying to close. Maybe I'll do that a bit after. But anyway, that's what we want to do. We want to seal them up. Now, like I said, we are going to be adding in a beautiful essential oil in here. So this is a patchouli with um, lavender and orange blend. And we are only going to be adding in 10 grams. So I'm just adding a tiny bit in at a time. Um just so that I don't go over because like I said you know we need to make sure that we are within the limit that we want to use you may want to add less or more it really depends like I said don't don't add too much um, it's super important anyway that is done and it smells really good oh, look I'm not one of these people that is right over the top with essential oils or anything but they really do smell so nice um, honestly just so lovely and then all we're going to do is literally just get our spoon and mix everything in and you have to mix this in super well so let's just move the camera so you can see a little bit better so hopefully you can see this a bit better now you can see those chunky bits like that you can mix this in you can mix it with a spoon you can mix it with your hands but if you see this essential oil that is the bit that is absolutely key to mixing this in it's really really important that you've mixed it in super well because we don't want any bits that um you know feel like a liquidy type and when i say that look, I'm, i've got gloves on obviously so i'm just going to do this because i want to squash some of these other bits in here now you can use things like bicarbonate soda as well so if you feel like you've made this big beautiful mixture and um you know you want to add a lovely um extra little bit to it you can add some bicarb now what bicarb does is similar to nature's orb it's just really going to help your salts so that your salts don't end up going a little bit crazy and having too much liquid in because you need things to absorb um, you know just absorb a little bit more because like I said we don't want it to be too much liquid in here do we and I know like you know if you're using things like fragrance oil you may need to use more nature's orb now the reason for that is you're going to probably use more um, generally if you are doing this in fragrance oil fragrance oil you may use up to five percent whereas an essential oil you may use up to one percent um, sometimes in fragrance oil you may use less uh, so anyway that is for that and we've added all of our beautiful salts um, another thing that you can add in which I am going to add into this I'm going to add in one tablespoon of kaolin clay kaolin clay is really good in helping to keep you know essential oils um, still smelling darling and gorgeous um, so we're just going to add that in once again we will mix this in now when I do my next batch to be really honest I'm probably going to do this in a much um, you know larger batch but for today I wanted to put it in this white container because it actually helps you to see a little bit better about what I'm doing now if you want to add florals and things like that you can do that the one thing I would say is try not to add too many florals because people don't want to be trying to get it all out of their bath and driving them crazy. Maybe, um, so I'm going to do lavender. We're just going to add two tablespoons of lavender. In this mix, that's probably more than enough. If you feel like you want more in it, you can. But also remember this is going down a drain um, unless you provide one of those tea bags or an organza satchel because these can go in organza 
satchels and then they can just sit into the bath that's also another great idea I have seen those done lots and lots of times um, and it just allows people to put that in the satchel if they want to and it means that it's going to catch all of the extra little bits so doesn't it look lovely so literally that's what it's going to look like it's going to look quite natural um, if you wanted to add a color to this I'm not going to but if you wanted to you could also use clays you could use some beautiful pink clay some red clay there's French clay which will give it a little greeny kind of um, tinge to that so isn't that's kind of nice isn't it you can just add those bits you could add rosemary to this as well if you wanted to but I don't feel that rosemary kind of goes with the blend and remember some herbs that you put in might be a bit sharp or sticky so you don't want those to be like that and somebody's going to sit in a bath so that's that's the one thing that I would suggest and it's always a good idea to just double check um, everything that you're doing and making sure you're happy with it always do a little test batch for yourself as well anyway doesn't this look darling I mean isn't it just so nice so like I said that's what we're going to do for this particular blend and um, I think it's going to look just absolutely gorgeous of course and now that I'm saying that maybe I might just put a little bit of green French clay I do have some um, let me have a look if I have some on the shelf everyone so on top of here I do have my container I didn't end up putting the green clay in and this is what it looks like nice and close does it look beautiful um, I think it looks lovely and we're going to just literally pour it in here I mean you don't have to do this there's a faster way but I thought look let's just show you how amazing this is going to be and every product that I make I actually weigh up and the reason I want to weigh this is I want to know exactly how much I can get for my mix. That way you can work out everything else you need to work out your cost of goods, what it costs and how much it costs to and what it's going to take to fill up this container. So in here now this is saying there is 412 grams. So we basically know that this is only going to fill up to be about, um, you know, you can tap it down. Um, but I mean maybe you'll get 450 out of into this um, I think at the very most we might get 450 in this so that is 451 we'll give it a bit of a shake and then we will pop on the lid and then you can see this is literally what it's going to look like so like I said I hope that you love that I'm going to go and get a label I will organize my label I'll bring you back so I can show you how beautiful this is going to be there you are all made my loves here they are don't they look absolutely gorgeous so that's it for now I hope you've loved the video see you next time